Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet these summer shells. Now, uh, the stitch when I came across it, it didn't have a name, so I'm just calling it the summer shell stitch. Um, it's uh, a pretty stitch, most often worked in two or more colors. I'm going to be working it in two colors today. It is similar on the front and the back, so it's a great stitch if uh, you're looking for something that is double-sided. So this is a summer shell stitch and uh, today I'm going to be using a little bit of Pima cotton yarn by Lion Brand. It's a worsted weight, 100% cotton and I'm going to be using a 5 millimeter crochet hook. Links to both of these items can be found in the description of this video. Also there you will find a direct link to the free written pattern which is on richtexturescrochet.com be sure to check it out. While you're here, don't forget to subscribe. Take a look around. This channel is packed full of other crochet stitch tutorials and is updated with a new one every Sunday morning. So thank you so much for joining me. Say hello down in the comments. Let me know how you would use this stitch in a crochet project. Let's get started. Our pattern today, the summer shells, is worked in rows. We're going to start by taking our color A and making a slip knot. You're then going to work a foundation chain and your foundation chain will need to be a multiple of eight plus two stitches. So today I'm going to chain a total of 26. There's 20, and 26. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin row one by working a single crochet into the second chain from your hook, and then into each stitch all the way across. When you come to the end of your chain, chain one, and turn your work. At the end of chain one, you've chained one and turned your work. For row two, we're going to begin working some of our shell stitches. You're going to begin by working a single crochet into the first stitch. Your chain one does not count as a stitch. Skip the next three stitches and into the next stitch work nine double crochet stitches. So we're going to work nine double crochets all into this next stitch. Once you have nine double crochet stitches worked all into the next stitch, skip the next three chains and single crochet into your next stitch. You're then going to repeat that all the way across. Skip the next three stitches and work nine double crochet stitches into the next stitch. Skip the next three and follow that by a single crochet in the next stitch you're going to repeat that all the way across. When you come to your final stitch we are going to be switching to our color B and I'll show you exactly how to do that in just a moment. So I'm at the end of my row two. I have three stitches remaining. I'm going to single crochet into that final stitch and I want to switch colors. Normally you would switch colors, turn your work, and then continue on. For this design, I'm going to pull up a bit of a larger loop and drop it. Okay, so you're just going to leave it. Do not turn your work. You're then going to go back over to the side that you started on. So here's my right side. And you're going to join your yarn with a slip stitch 
over on that right hand side. So it's up to you if you want to work the slip knot or not. And then insert your hook into that first stitch, yarn over and pull through. Once you have joined your color B, you're then going to chain four. And this chain four counts as a stitch. You're then going to work a double crochet four together over the next four stitches. To do so, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and drop a loop. Yarn over and pull through two loops. You're going to do that again three more times. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two, and do that two more times. And then you will have five loops on your hook, yarn over, and pull through all five loops on your hook. Next, chain three, and single crochet into the next stitch. Chain three, and you're now going to work a single uh, double crochet nine together over the next nine stitches. So yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two, and do that a total of nine times. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Yarn over and pull through all the loops on your hook. You're now going to repeat chain three, single crochet into the next stitch, chain three, and double crochet nine together over the next nine stitches. Yarn over, pull through all the loops on your hook, chain three, and single crochet in the next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across your work until you come to your final stitches, and you're going to chain three, and then work a double crochet five together over your final five stitches. just like so. At this time you can pull that loop up a little bit, put your A back on your hook, and pull through. Um, if you need to, you can be fastening off at the end of each row and then weaving in your ends depending on the edging that you have in it. For the video I'm just going to leave this long loop here and then you're going to chain one and turn your work. So this brings us to our row four. For row four we're going to begin with a single crochet into our first stitch. You're then going to skip the chain space. Sorry I'm going to work my single crochet here a little bit better in the top of there. So you're going to then skip the chain three space and into the next single crochet stitch work nine 
double crochet stitches. You're now working into your, uh, with your color A, all of these nine double crochets are worked into this single crochet stitch. You're just leaving your color B attached as long as it's appropriate for your project. Skip the next chain three space and into the top of your next cluster stitch work a single crochet or into the top of your next double crochet nine together single crochet. Skip the next chain three and work nine double crochet stitches into the next single crochet and you're going to repeat that all the way across. Skip the next chain three space, single crochet, and so forth. At the end of your row four, you've worked your single crochet into your final stitch. Pull up that loop a little bit long, longer so that it doesn't come out. You could also mark it with a stitch marker if that would help, if you're using a more slippery yarn. Then you're going to come back to your right side, insert your hook, into that first stitch, pick up your color B and loop it through, and then begin by chaining four. Now for the rest of the pattern, all you're going to do is repeat rows three and four for as long as you would like. Once you've come to the end, you can fasten off, weave in your ends, and that's all there is to working this beautiful summer shells stitch. So thank you so much for joining me. Once again, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around, and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Until then, a happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.